Well, they were first spotted in a drainage basin in Gretna in 2006, and now the apple snails seem to be everywhere in huge numbers. <laughs> They're so gross, and at least that's what people in living people living in Metairie are saying. I can't right. even get it out because it's the thought of it. You know, disgusting. Meg Ferris went out to see them for herself, and she found out why you shouldn't go anywhere near them. They're back, stuck to just about every culvert of pipe block after block along the West Esplanade Canal and rock after rock in outfall canals in Metairie. The apple snails that live under the water have laid thousands of egg masses. I do see them now as I drive up and down West Esplanade in particular. They've gotten a lot worse um, since we've been here in the past year. It's Amazing to see that many egg masses in, you know, an artificial man-made canal like that. Michael Massamy is the invasive species and marine programs coordinator for the Barataria Terrebonne National Estuary Program. He says this South American apple snail was most likely bought for home aquariums, then dumped, free to reproduce, and boy, have they. Each egg mass can hatch as many as a thousand tiny apple snails that grow to be as big as an apple, and they cause damage to our land eating aquatic plants, affecting the ecosystem. Then it gets muddy and turbid and, and sunlight doesn't penetrate. There's a lot of al algal growth. So instead of a healthy water body that's good for fisheries. So far, there's no specific way to control them that won't also harm the water and wildlife like crawfish. But there may be some help from this bird. There's a, a new species of predator of apple snails called the limpkin. That might actually make some bit of impact on this population. While leftover shells can make a great costume, he warns the eggs have a neurotoxin, so don't touch. And they carry the rat lungworm parasite, dangerous if eaten raw. That's why this metairie neighbor, who's also a doctor, is concerned. Young kids don't understand the ramifications of playing with them and, you know, the toxins that they carry. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News.